Okay, here is uh, Greg, Greg Zumwatt's little spring car, 3D printed spring car all together here. And I started out just printing the spring. That was my last video. And it um, came out quickly, so I started printing up all the parts. And it takes hours and hours to print these up, but I got it done last night. And um, just like Granddad, it worked right out of the box. I mean, it was one of these things that... Uh, right out of the gate it, it, it ran and um, there's problems with the design that I'm sure Greg knows about that uh, he's probably corrected in other projects the little uh, knob here breaks off because as it's being printed it's layered up like this on the knob and so it's really easy to snap the knob off down in there so I think on his other wind up cars he's modified that design I'm gonna probably put a shaft or a screw down it to keep it from snapping off but other than that it's a really neat 3d print project uh, that does work let me wind it up here and see if I can get it to go down the road here what one of the reasons I got turned on to this uh, project was the video that was done, I think probably, probably by his wife, that she winds it up and then she sends it down her hardwood floor a long, long, long ways. And I don't have a long run, just a short run here. But the sound of that, it sounded like a jet going down the runway there. So anyway, let me see what mine sounds like. And uh, like I say, it's, it's a fun project. I recommend it. Um, spend a lot of hours uh, printing it, but the thing does work. And let's see if mine goes down the road here. And there it went. And it's the sound of that. On her video, I'll post it again, it's a long, long run. I think uh, they say that it'll go 40 feet. And uh, it just makes a really neat sound. I like the sound of it being wound up. And I liked the sound of what it sounded like when it ran down the road. And so anyway... Um, and then, of course, Granddad's video where he just pulled the parts out of a Ziploc bag and then put it all together, and his ran right down his kitchen floor, too. So let me see if I can do this one more time so I can get it to go. But uh, it's fun. It's a fun project for uh, whoever. It'd make a great Christmas present for somebody. And there she goes. Anyway, that is uh, the uh, wind-up 3D printed car by Greg Zumwatts and he's done another one that Granddad did where there's a pulley on it not a pulley but a gear that drops down so that after it expends its um, energy with the spring the car will continue to run um, freewheeling without the spring unwinding and stopping on this one as soon as it unwinds it's going to run backwards with the momentum it'll go backwards like that but Really neat. Um, I highly recommend this uh, project um, if you're into 3D printing and you're trying to learn how to print and use the machine, whatever machine you've got, this is a real good project to, uh, to learn on. Thanks for watching.